clothes, jackets, all objects which resemble our social status in society. But now, as society progresses, shoes have joined that group. But why is that? Since when did materialism become such a big part of our social status in society? Since when did shoes become part of that group? We're here today at Middlefield Collegiate Institute to discover why exactly teens spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on shoes which all end up in the same place, the ground. Would you guys be willing to wear this shoe? Yeah. No, but I'm finding it funny. Would you wear these shoes? No. Why not? Because I can't find like, the same material at Walmart for the cheaper prices. What do your shoes cost? 100 bucks. Would you be willing to wear these shoes? No. Why not? <laughs> People think I'm homeless. Uh, would you guys be willing to wear this shoe? No, no. Uh, why not? Because it's really ugly. What, are you, what would your friends say if they saw you wearing this? They would, they would, they would make fun of me and yeah, like, they would be like, you cannot afford proper shoes in your costume and stuff. What do your shoes cost? The shoes cost around 200 Alright, would you be willing to wear these shoes? Um, if you give me some money. $80. Would you be willing to wear these shoes? Yeah, because they're shoes. <laughs> and some people don't have shoes. And so, yeah, money to wear those. What do you like about those shoes? They're nice. Do you think everyone in MCI would wear those? No. Why not? Because some people don't think they look nice. And that they don't stand out. And they want to stand out, so they buy new and expensive shoes so that they look better. And more popular. After asking several MCI students if they were willing to wear a dirty pair of decent quality shoes, the majority of the people we had asked refused to wear those shoes because they were worried about being ridiculed by their friends, looking homeless, and wearing shoes that looked like they were from Walmart, a place where cheap people go to purchase clothing and shoes. Now let's find out why teens spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on shoes when you can buy those same shoes for half the price and still perform the same task. I see them as a way to basically help us by protecting our feet. Oh, so why do you think uh, people spend almost hundred dollars on shoes? Mainly because of the fact that about um, obsolescence. Because people usually end up leaving in fashion and follow the bandwagon. So they see, look, oh my god, this guy has these amazing shoes that cost $400, so I should have them too. So people usually follow the bandwagons. It also goes down to fake uh, celebrities who wear certain shoes are in our sponsor. So the people who are fans of those various celebrities end up wearing those shoes because of that. I think shoes, I want to find someone. Uh, to, find, to find what their sense of style is and also um, shoes help you follow athletes like for an example you can buy LeBron James shoes but you can't be LeBron James Why do you think people spend almost a hundred dollars on shoes? Um, like I said it, it helps people feel like the athlete they like like you can buy um, M Jordans but you can't be Michael Jordan so actually wearing, um, wearing his shoes may make you feel like him 
Would you ever spend that much money on shoes? Yes. Celebrities play a vital role in the shoe industry as well. Celebrities such as LeBron James, Kanye West, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan have all taken over the shoe industry with their amazing shoes. But why do their shoes sell as much as they do? We follow our favorite celebrities on social media to monitor their every move and look up to them like role models. When we see our idols, we tend to emu emulate them, especially their fashion sense. So when these celebrities release a new piece of clothing or a new pair of shoes, we are drawn to the idea of buying their new product so we can be one step closer to being just like them. This is one of the few reasons of why celebrity products are priced so high, yet they still sell so well. Another reason why celebrity products are sold at such a high price is because of this idea of a bandwagon. Once a celebrity releases a product, a lot of people start to buy that product because they want to be just like that celebrity. Suddenly, most of the people around you end up having that same product, which will then influence you to buy that same product as well. What do shoes mean to you? Well, shoes are something you wear, something that shows what you do. So, for example, if you were to wear a basketball shoe, it, showed, it might show your interest and in what you like. Why do you think people find over $100 on shoes? Well, maybe some people just have a passion for collecting shoes and you like the quality that comes with it. Would you ever spend that much on shoes? Well, personally, I wouldn't spend more than $100 because I don't feel like it's worth it. Stamps, rocks, and coins are widely collected because of the sentimental value they hold with certain people. Throughout recent years, shoes have seemed to join this group as well. Shoe collecting has become a growing craze since the 1980s and doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. Our friends Joshua and Mohammed are very passionate about footwear. Throughout the last few years, their growing passion for shoes has led them to build a collection of shoes with the prices ranging from $80 to $900. Josh, can you explain each one of these shoes please? Alright, so basically these are Jordan 7 sweaters. They're inspired off of the sweater that Michael Jordan actually once wore. Has like a cool touch material and has a nice leather on it. Probably like $300. The next one we have here is the Air Force One Independence Day. They're actually inspired off of the Independence Day. So you can see like the stars to represent like America's flag. It's probably like two bills. And then these, these are Jordan 29s. They're ball type shoe. You can see how kind of wore it because like I'm a volleyball type man. So. And then these are my favorite. They're called the Kobe Deep Garnet. Basically, you know how wine like it gets better as the year goes on. That's sort of what this is supposed to like represent. How Kobe gets better each year. And these are like these are uh, another type of ball shoes which are called the Kyrie's, and you can see like it's gold. It's nice. Josh, how much do each one of these shoes go for? This is three hundred. This is two hundred. This is two fifty. This I got for hundred, but it probably goes for three hundred now. And this probably is one fifty. All right. So these are Kyrie twos. Um, these are Kyrie ones. These are foam posits. These are Air Force Ones and these are Jordan Ones. So these Kyrie Twos are special because um, Kyrie Irving wore them in the finals last year when they won and when he got the game winner. And they're basically um, really good shoes for basketball and they're $200 in the stores currently. And then these are Kyrie Ones. These are also special because he wore them in his rookie year and these were his first signature shoes. And they're currently $175 in the stores. These are foam posits, and these are really special because um, KD, was, these were designed by Kevin Durant because if he wasn't going to become a basketball player, he was going to become a weatherman. That's why these shoes are called foam posit ones, weathermans. These are Air Force Ones, a really classical shoe, and the shoe is uh, really old and people used to wear it back then, and they're, they're currently still in fashion. These, you can find them for 150 in stores as well. For the phone posits, you can find them for 300 in the stores. And these Jordan ones are also special because Michael Jordan wore them back then in the era and then they brought them back. So yeah, that's why they're special and they're currently $250 in the stores. How do you think your shoes influence your social status? Well, my shoes, uh, all my friends when they look at my shoes, they're like, hey, you're the cool guy. And I think like, I always make the girls look around like, hey, who's that? So, like, it gets a lot of attention. Well, around the school, when I wear these shoes, I'm known as the guy who plays basketball a lot. And since all these shoes are uh, basketball player shoes, then that makes people think, oh, he's a basketball player. So that's how it creates my social status as an athlete. Do you think you buy these shoes for the price? Uh, yeah, possibly, because the higher the price, sometimes the better quality. And all these shoes are really nice quality. Um, yeah, I would buy these shoes for the price because each one of them has a special characteristic and they're all special to me and they all have a unique background. 
Although, since these shoes are really high-end, I think they were made for a lot of money as well. So probably 60% of the retail price. I don't think they were made for really less money because they, by the texture, you can tell that they're really high quality. So yeah, I think they were made for about 60% of the retail price. Today, we have discovered that shoes are a big part of our social status in society. Teens make their first impression on an individual based off their footwear. If you're not wearing lead brands such as Nike, Jordan, Adidas, you are seen as an inferior part of society. Shoes not only protect your feet, but they will as well protect your image in society.